Hola everybody, my name's Zizzy and welcome to Zizzy's Planet. Today I'm going to be doing a first impression video gameplay on Grand Chase, which is a free-to-play 2D side-scrolling anime-inspired fantasy MMORPG published by Intrieve. And I do have to thank Despair Saga for giving me the idea to play this game because I had looked for it a long time ago. I saw it online and I was like, wow, this game looks awesome and I forgot the title. So I do have to thank him for rejogging my memory on how to be reunited with a game that I never played before. Anyways guys, I do have to say that I did log on and try to test it out because I was so curious about the game that it doesn't do what it normally does whenever you first play. So I am going to take you through what it actually does just so that you kind of get exposed to what it actually wanted you to be exposed to. So right here, as you enter for the first time, it'll have this NPC player who tells you that you ought to go into the practice mode to get some practice, which is actually a pretty cool mode. So let's go into there and I'll go and show you around. So, automatically you guys are probably wondering, like, what is this night versus night? This is a fighting game? Actually guys, it kinda is. It's half and half. Remember this is an RPG and that it does have the PvP inside the game, in which we'll talk about it a little later. So, right here we have different classes down here. We got the Knight, Archer, Magician, Thief, Druid, Spell, uh, Knights, what is that? The Spell Knight, and Dancer, which is pretty crazy if you ask me. I never played as her and I don't know if I'm interested to play against that one yet. We got the fighter over here, gladiator, runecaster, and the stigans, something like that. The only thing wrong with this guy, of course he looks awesome, but he only has two job advancements. And all these other guys have four available job advancements, which is actually pretty crazy guys. If you're listening carefully, I'm saying that all these classes down here have four job advancements, which is a lot. And for them to all have different kinds of skills than one another, which is just leaves so much room for variety around this game. So, without further ado, let me go and choose a character real quick. I'm going to go and go with a fighter. And uh, because it's practice mode, I can choose between my second, first, or third, or fourth job just to see how it feels to play against or play as that character. I'm going to choose fourth job, of course, because I want to get all awesome and whatnot. Guys, so I did go into the practice mode earlier, and I did start playing the game, the actual game, earlier as well. But I haven't got the gif quite on how to fight very good. Uh, of course, being fourth job, you do fight very good just naturally. So let me go and show you around real quick. So you go and press, you can uh, double click on the um, right arrow or the left arrow to dash. And that's actually pretty cool, but different because I'm pretty sure most of us who play MMOs are pretty used to WASD and moving around. But in this game, it's going to be the arrows. Oh, also, guys, can you guess what the jump button is? Yeah, go ahead and guess. No. No, it's not spacebar, and it's no other button. It's actually the up arrow. Check that out. So basically, you're spending a lot of time with the arrows around here. You're dashing the arrow one now, which is really cool. Remember, dashing could be done by double, um, double pushing in one of the arrows in whichever direction you want to head. So I'm gonna go ahead and fight this girl. The only button that I have to attack with is the Z button, which of course is pretty natural. Of course, since this is my power bar, you're probably wondering, looking down here, and you're just like, "Where is your power bar, Izzy?" It's actually on the side. In this game, they put it on the side. So here it is, and I have no skills. Power bars could be used for skills and potions and whatnot. Of course, you guys already know what power bars are used for, but I have none of them there. So I'm just whipping her butt just by spamming the Z button, which is really easy and comes naturally. The whole um, combo, as you can see, as I'm already up to the 35, 36, 37 combo right here, if you look right here. And all my hits are really good. Oh, and by the way, you don't have to continue com your combos. As you can see, I'm just standing here, chilling out, eating a sandwich, reading a book or whatever, and coming back and fighting. Okay, normally it would continue you the uh, the combo you could just wait for a long time but um, in this case I got stuck right there next to the plant area and it just didn't let me oh and if guys you look up here we got our HP and MP our MP could be used to do awesome special powers as like this one hold down the Z button and you just charge it up charge it up and then let it go get this awesome huge move whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. of course we're our uh, fourth class and whatnot and that's definitely not one of the awesome skills you're gonna have at the beginning like as a class one or anything like that so I'm done beating up this NPC in which I can move around look at that I can move around anywhere and just dust her all up and beat her up just by having the full control over my mouse so I'm gonna let her go there and press the exit key to exit practice mode so there we go Oh, okay. And here we are at our select server screen where we get to choose between three servers online. You got Gargos, uh, Garakus, whatever the names they are. I know this one has a lot more players, but since it's not awesome, I'm not going to choose it. I'm going to go to Gargos right here. 
go in there and by the way guys if you do enter a server for the first time it will ask you to enter a username that you'd like to use while you're playing the game I do suggest that you use a username that is different from the username that you log on into the game with just so that it's harder to hack you if you get really well and, and of course no one likes to be hacked so I'm gonna go into oh well first of all we're here at the main map where we got Bersh Mishia so my readings so off today so forgive me guys um so first of all when you enter the game you'll only be able to fi um, play at trial forest right here and then later on whenever you defeat that one once you go on to trial tower and then so on and so forth all these other ones aren't highlighted because I'm not far in the game enough to go into those levels yet so I'm gonna go into trial forest and because I had already defeated at level one difficulty by the way these are the difficulty level stars this is level, level difficulty one two three and you go further for all the way to four I believe or five so, um, you got to choose how difficult you want it, like this, push, 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 and I'm just going to leave it at one since I'm not that strong, guys. I'm not even that good. So, I'm going to go and enter the room, and, oh, by the way, guys, if you aren't really surprised or just, like, dying to play as this character right here, you get to press this easy, located, right underneath your screen right there at the lobby to just choose a different character. You get to choose between Liar, which is an archer, and... Aram, which is a magician, and I might have those names totally wrong, but forgive me, you know. Oh, okay, so I'm the host of this game, and no one wants to come and play, so I'm going to exit these out and go into the game. We have two seconds, one second, and start game. There we go. I'm going to go and give you a look at just how this game's kind of gameplay is all by yourself, although anybody could have joined that game, and I could have had a little bit of help, but no biggie. I'm going to go and fight some of these bad boys all by myself. And just because I'm pressing the Z button, I'm just spamming it out because I don't really get the gist of how to get. If you do dash uh, at the same time as you attack, the better your attacks are going to be and the stronger they're going to be too. And the chan the higher the chance that the, the combos are just going to kind of pile up on you, which is really good. So I'll get some money falling out of these monsters and just the dash is taking complete advantage of me. I'm going to go ahead and defeat this last monster of the stage. And by defeating all the monsters in one section, you go on to the next section by pressing down at the portal. Which is pretty weird because in most games, as we were growing up, it's always been pressed up in order to go into the portal. So when I first played this game, I was just like, what is going on? I can't go in this portal. And then I found out that you had to press down. And oh boy, you should have saw me. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just defeating some of these monsters, and I'm just being reminded about another game that kind of will kind of surprise you because it probably won't um, remind you of this game at all. Kind of reminds me of Maple Strand. Not only in the game style, because it is a 2D side scrolling game, but kind of the monsters as well. They're kind of a copycat. If you look at the beginning where the um, select um, server screen is, you get to see a lot of what I'm talking about there. Oh, also, Dragonica. It's not called that anymore. I, I don't know what it's called anymore, but if you've ever played that game, you, they got the same style with the art that they're using here. So I'm going to press down to go into the portal over here. And already, guys, I already finished the whole level, and I got to the boss. So I'm going to quickly dash over, see if I can prevent this guy from hitting me, and I'm not doing a very good job. Here we go. Go over here and hold down the Z button. Ooh, uh. And there we go. We get some awesome, cool attacks for a beginner. Not bad. I mean, I'm only level... Yeah, level 3. I'm going up levels so fast, guys. This game is really easy to level up. You just have fun and play the levels and whatnot. So there we go. Oh, by the way, guys, this game, PvP, of course, but as a low level, it's really hard to get into a PvP room, so might as well not even try. But if guy, oh, by the way, I got a great score, just putting that out there, guys. Difficulty level, just don't pay attention to that, but I did get a good score. So, oh, by the way, after every level that you fight, you just choose a chest, and whatever's in that chest that you just choose, you get it. So I got a Roman helm, which is pretty cool. I never got anything like that before. Mostly just potions and all that and lame stuff basically so I'm gonna go and exit out of here and like I said the PvP tab is up here but since I'm a low level I'm not gonna even go in there got a shop over here as well and our equips so let's go and see what that um, I got that where is it right here this is, this is the items unable to be equipped must acquire one character of course I do I have a character right here what are you talking about oh well no biggie I'm just gonna go ahead and go back over here how do I go back Whoa, menu Oh, I got a menu list over here, guys. The attendance, 
Got park, couples, that's kind of weird. Got a skill tree over here, which is really cool. If you look at all these combo attacks, this is your skill tree. And you get, uh, it's like you don't get to just use your attack or your skills. You have to actually work for it. So if you look at these, it's, I mean, it's really interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. As well, you got the Heroes um, Buffalone Shop, which I don't really know if this is money within the game or money that you have to buy online. So, I mean, only, only people who play a lot would really know that. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, go into the service list, and go back over here. Of course, since I had defeated this level, I get to go on to the trial tower. So we got this awesome bot that I could be looking forward to. I'm going to go ahead and enter the room and go ahead and play some more. But guys, if you'd like to play this game yourself, then look on down to the description area, and I'll have a link to the site where you can download this game or just read about, you know, how it is and whatnot. So guys, y'all have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this game just as much as I did. And I do want to thank Despair Saga for giving me the idea to be reunited with a game I've never played before. So have a good one, guys. Talk to you guys later. Peace out. Bye.